Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about cognitive models. So in almost all the engineering disciplines, the designer always uh, go with the various selections of model. So the model is used for uh, making a decision on how to make a design. Whether it may be a civil engineering or whether it may be a normal craft, people are coming, come up with a lot of different models. So these models help us in finding out the psychological or cognitive in nature and these models can be used during the interface design process when you are talking about human computer interaction. So these cognitive models are categorized or it may be uh, listed as a different uh, models or a classification. So it is as follows goal and task hierarchies or it may be linguistic or it may be physical and device model or architectural model. So today in this session we will be learning about goal and task hierarchies. So in this we will be discussing about a model called GOMS model. So the word GOMS it stands for goals, operators, methods and selection. So when you are involved in designing, especially uh, human computer interaction and in the design, we normally perform or we assign ourselves as some goals. So how this goal is being achieved, that is what this uh, GOMS model talks about. So we have to fix the goal that is what the user wants to achieve. So in case I say like I want to uh, spell check in MS Word. So already these things are already available in MS Word and before implementing this people would have done with lot of models and lot of different uh, strategy in performing that. So let me take the same example and I will try to explain so that we will get an easy idea why we need to have these kind of uh, models in performing the real time design. So in that case, if I say like I want to make a spell check or grammar check in MS Word or any of the word processing, maybe in future if I am going to design. So that is what the user wants to achieve. So that is the ultimate uh, goal. To perform that, what are the operators are available? The basic action the user performs, like whether he has to click on a particular button or whether he has to type some command over some window to perform that. So normally like we are talking about graphical user interface in almost all the application nowadays. So user wants everything in a single click or in a single command. So these operators, what are the basic actions are available. So in case we say if I want to make a bold of a particular text, either we will select the text, then we will press the bold button from the uh, design menu or from the home menu. Else, if you are a advanced user, you know the shortcut, you can also use Ctrl B to selecting the performance. So this is what we call as a operators. Our method is nothing but decomposition of a goal into sub goals. So in case uh, we have been talking about grammar check. So in that grammar check, uh, we have not told about like for what kind of language I am going to perform this, whether it's meant for English, or whether it's meant for uh, regional languages like Malayalam, Telugu, Tamil or whatever it may be. So in that case, each and every uh, grammar check or spell check is going to be different. So in that case, I need to decompose my goal into various sub goals. So uh, if my task is very huge or very large, I will be decomposing it. Maybe in the software engineering, you would have uh, learned like how a simple task is being uh, subdivided into various sub tasks. So that, that each subtask will be assigned to a particular person and at the end of a particular uh, duration, the entire uh, goals will be performed. And the last thing is about selection. So in this case, selecting a best uh, method or choosing between the competing method which gives you a optimal solution or uh, whichever is satisfied, which can give you a uh, complete satisfaction to the user. So we'll see with an one example. So this example tells you like my goal is to close the window. That is what I mean is in the application we want to close the window. Normally everyone knows that either I can use file menu then select close else I will be using that uh, X symbol on the top 
right corner to close the application. So here we are going to take uh, two conditions that is if you want to close the uh, window I have two selections. So here if you say like selections is different methods to perform the same task here. So either I can use menu method or the goal is use control W method. So there are two methods to perform this close window where close window is your goal and this is your selection. To perform this selection you need to perform certain operations that is what basic of user of actions to be performed. So what I am supposed to do if I want to use menu method then I have to move my mouse over to the file menu then a pull down menu will occur appear then you have to click over the close option. So that is one way of doing it that everyone knows it. All maybe if you know like there is a alt f4 selection which also closes. But here we are going to discuss about only two methods. So control w is being assigned to close the application. So we have defined here two rules for a particular user when to use these two methods. So if I am going to use this use menu method it applies for every, everything that is almost all the applications. If I am running an application which is of game or a gaming nature, in that case I don't have any file menu or something else which will be shown. But normally when you are when you play a game, it's going to be in a full screen. So you will not have any option to close it, whether you will, you will not be able to click on certain menu or something else. So in that case, we are going with the control W. So I'll be pressing the control key as well as W altogether. Then my application will be closed. So this tells you like how my GOMS model works. So the GOMS model tells you that uh, we are going to have a cognitive in nature where we will be defining how my goals are being uh, taken or like how I am how going to uh, select my goal. So I need to define the goal like what I am going to supposed to do. Then I will be uh, mentioning different uh, operators like how I am going to do that, whether I am going to click on the uh, menu or I am going to use any shortcuts that is what. So method is like sub goals to perform this what are, what are the things I am supposed to do with this example you know that I have to move the mouse so what are the things are required here I, I have the intention of doing that of course here we are not going to discuss this we will be discussing in another model so here to perform this I have to make the mouse movement then I have to click on a file menu then I have to click that so uh, moving a uh, cursor over the file menu then waiting for the pull down to occur then clicking on the close button so there are three uh, methods or uh, three steps are given so that is how your uh, GOMS model works or uh, the basics of your GOMS model okay we will see in the next session